CPM on the uh, Coleco Atom computer um, works really well overall. However, um, it unfortunately runs only in 32 column mode and uh, you have to scroll the screen sideways in order to see the rest of the standard 80 column CPM screen. Um, and this really creates all sorts of uh, inconveniences and some programs just simply don't look well at all in bad mode. However, luckily there is a solution which is to connect an external uh, 80 column serial terminal to the uh, Coleco Atom using an add-on serial card. So the first step is to install a uh, serial uh, expansion card into the uh, Coleco Atom and here we have the MIB uh, 328 um, which is uh, produced by John Lundy thank you John uh, it's a, uh, a more recent iteration of the uh, older um, MIB cards and essentially it has a uh, parallel port here and two serial ports you can use one for a modem and another for a uh, direct terminal connection which is what we're going to be doing here fairly straightforward it also has a connection to a uh, a memory expansion card if you happen to have one and um, these cables here are running um, to two things. The parallel cable is going to the uh, to my venerable uh, Panasonic KXP1123 printer, which I bought new in 1991, I believe. It still works to this day, and it sees almost daily use. And the serial cable is running to my uh, Heathkit H19 uh, terminal. Now in order to make all this work we have to use a, uh, an enhanced version of CPM uh, for the Coleco Atom called TDOS by AJM Software uh, which provides several enhancements to the uh, resident commands and uh, an additional feature which allows you to redirect all screen output to the, to the serial card for, ex for display on an external serial terminal. And uh, I'm using here two virtual disk drives. Disk 1 contains the TDOS operating system, and disk 2 currently has Turbo Pascal 3, but I can select on the fly any other disk I want. So why don't we go ahead and uh, reset? And what will happen now is that the screen is going to be blank because all output now will be directed to the serial terminal. And if we go back to the Heathkit terminal, we will notice that we have a TDOS prompt um, and then the A drive is selected. So from here on we are basically in classic uh, CPM um, and I'll demonstrate a few things here in a second. So if we do a directory here, I mean it's a standard directory and it's in 80 columns exactly what we wanted. Um, and then we switch to disk B, which contains the uh, Turbo Pascal, and again directory, and we've got that. And um, we can go ahead and run Turbo Pascal. And in case uh, you don't know, Turbo Pascal is my favorite programming environment under CPM because of its ease of use. Um, and uh, unfortunately, uh, the editor does not run well uh, under CPM 2.2 on the Coleco Atom because of display issues. So here, if we edit a file, um, and you can see we have a full 80 column uh, screen and we can just do whatever. Test. So we're going to go ahead and exit that. And uh, let's 
save yes so it's saving test.pass all right so if we do a directory again we've got the test.pass somewhere there we are okay so uh, the nice thing is now um, we have a uh, a printer um, connected as we discussed so I can just basically list uh, test.pass and there we go it went to the printer um, so let me get the printout out and you can see here actually the printer and um, see that but here is the program we just created printed and uh, before we uh, wrap up this short demonstration video I'd like to show you a uh, new text editor um, called TE for text editor um, that is uh, quite nice and it's a modern incarnation um, and there it goes it loads so um, and it's created uh, by uh, 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 floppy software dot es um, and uh, Miguel Garcia is the actual programmer um, and it's really uh, nice uh, 80 column um, text editor uh, with all the essential features one could need um, and it uh, it works really nicely so let's load for example our test.bas program and there it is um, and um, it's uh, it's a bit more powerful than the uh, Turbo Pascal editor and can also be used for a variety of things uh, like assembly programming uh, for example uh, or even simple text uh, you know like a simple word processor in any case um, that's it for that and uh, feel free to leave uh, any questions or comments in the comment section thank you